Hey guys, my name is Cody Barton. Welcome to my channel where I talk all about real estate, business, and systems. And I have to ask the question, why do most real estate investors fail to scale their business? So I don't know if you've ever felt this way, but I used to find that every single day when I was working in my real estate investing business, I would get to the end of the day and I would be laying in bed at night thinking about, oh my gosh, there's so many things I didn't get accomplished today. There's so many things that are going to roll into the next day because I had no systems in place. I was working in reaction mode instead of being proactive and, and, and having the right things put into place for me to you know, have a good routine and have my business continue to run without me having to do everything. So here's the thing is if you don't change the things that you're doing, things are never gonna change for you. And so if you're doing the same thing every single day, what you're gonna find is you started your real estate investing business to become a true investor, to have freedom, to have the freedom to work when you want, how you want. And what you're gonna find is if you're not doing some of the things I'm gonna talk about in this video, you're gonna find yourself in just another job where you thought you were gonna have freedom, but now you're just trapped in another job that's probably not as high paying as previous jobs that you've had because you're investing your money and your time into the business. So in order for you to put your business in a position where you're able to do it how you want and when you want, you need to understand that there's four different areas that you need to be spending your time in. Doing, delegating, deciding, and designing. Those are the four Ds that you're gonna be focusing and mixing up your efforts to be working within those four different areas. Because what I've found is there's a lot of investors that I talk to and other business owners that they say, oh, I've been a real estate investor for 10 years, for 20 years. But really, they've been a real estate investor for one year and they've lived that same year 10 times, 20 times, meaning they haven't changed anything. All they've done is created a job for themselves where they're doing the same thing over and over and over again. All right, guys, so the four D's, number one is the doing. And that is where most people get it wrong. Most people spend all of their time doing everything and they don't spend any time on any of the other areas. The doing of the physical work, it's calling the sellers, it's setting up the systems, the marketing campaigns, it's calling title, it's running the transaction, it's doing everything. And that's where most people end up getting stuck in that wholesale hamster wheel where they're doing everything within their business. Right. Number two is delegating. And so delegating is one of the things that people have the biggest challenge with because if it's not done by me, it must mean it's not being done right. That's what most people think, but here's the thing is there's lots of people out there that are super talented, that are way better at doing the thing that you're doing than you even are. And so what I specifically do within our real estate investing company is think about every single day, is this activity a 500 to $1,000 an hour activity? And if it's not, I do my very best job to delegate that as much as I possibly can so I could focus on the high level activities for our company. So those activities are what really drive the revenue. So what you need to do is start looking at, I mean, what are those five to 10 things that you keep saying to yourself, man, why do I keep doing this? Are you doing all of the lead generation? Are you doing all of the transaction management? Those things that you're consistently doing are taking away from other things that you could be doing to continue to grow your business. And guys, here's the thing. If you don't know where to find people, well, I don't know who to hire. I don't know how to find a transaction coordinator. I don't know how to find an acquisition person or somebody to help me with my lead generation. Join our Facebook community. We have tons of people every single day that are meeting partners to do business with, people to JV deals with, and then people to find help to, to hire transaction coordinators, whatever you need people are finding within our Facebook community in the link below you can join that and find the next person that's gonna be able to help you take your business to the next level all right guys number three is going to be deciding and so what this specifically means is helping your team make decisions so as you hire a virtual assistant for your business or as you hire an acquisitions person or a transaction coordinator or you're doing renovations on properties some of the decisions that you're gonna be making are all around helping your team actually make decisions. Some of the things that you're doing, you're making decisions yourself, but you have to help your team make decisions as well. So your team may come back to you and say, 
hey Cody, on this particular renovation, we ran into an issue here. We can resolve it this way or we can resolve it that way. All of those little decisions is another key thing that you're gonna be spending time on when you start to delegate and that's helping your team decide and make continuous decisions for the business. Number four is going to be all about designing your business. And this is by far the most tedious thing that you're going to be doing. It's the thing that you don't, that people don't see on the outside. You can spend an entire day working on designing things in your business, but nobody's gonna see it. Nobody's gonna see the fruits of the labor that you put into that designing process. But this is what's gonna separate you from the amateur investor that spins their wheels for years and years and years. Like I was saying before, they're 10 years in, but they've really lived the same year 10 times in a row and to be the mature investor where you have people in place that are running systems, that are running processes. Because when you take the designing part into account and you really start to focus time on that, it's creating the system behind how you do things and how you make decisions. So if you're marketing in a certain way, it's take the time to document that. So if you're pulling a list, record yourself pulling that list. If you're going through the process on um, you know, how you come up with your numbers when you're running your comps, record yourself running those comps so that you can then teach someone that when you go to hire them and they could just watch the video that you created. So what's really important behind the designing process is this is what's going to allow you to start to step out of your business more because you've designed it, you've documented it, and you've started to delegate it to the other people that you begin to hire. So I'm super curious to know, comment below, where are you having the hardest time within your business? Is it in the doing? Is it in the delegating? Is it in the deciding? Is it in the designing? Comment below, I wanna see what you're having the most challenges with so I can make more videos geared specifically towards things that are gonna help you take your business from where it is today to where you wanna end up down the road. And if you haven't already seen the video where I talk about the ten, top 10 systems that you need for your real estate investing business, make sure to check out that video to help you in the process of designing your business so that you don't get stuck like most people where they're doing the same thing day after day and never really getting to where they wanna be within their business. So you're gonna to wanna to be spending 8% of your time delegating your business, you're gonna be spending 2% of your time deciding and making decisions for people on your team within your business. And then the final area is you want to spend 10% of your time on designing your business. That's where you're putting the systems in place, you're recording things that you're doing, you're documenting processes and the way that you do things so that you can teach that to someone else. All right guys, so that's really it focusing on the four D's within your business so that you can really get to where you wanna go. And like I said before, join our Facebook community where we have other like-minded investors that are going through these same challenges and triumphing and getting results within their business. And as always, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell if you're getting any value from these videos. And we'll see you in the next video.